So it really is a big podium. I feel like I'm kind of lost behind it, so I'm going to stand to the side. Um, I've been given the uh, rather challenging task of being um, rapporteur, summing up, um, but also just reflecting on the, on the wonderful day that we've had. Um, and just in, in, um, it's impossible to summarize everything, um, but the day started with Andrew encouraging us to tweet. I think we have trended on Twitter, Brida? Yes, number one. Galway, Ireland, or the world? Oh, pretty much the world. The world, okay. <laughs> so well done on, on trending. Um, I, I really, I, I thought, you know, it was really important to have um, our, our new president um, open this event in a building that is so outward looking. Um, those of you who haven't been to the Institute for Life Course and Society, um, just a fantastic uh, uh, venue for an event like this. Um, and and uh, what we heard from Kiron was um, that sense of giving voice, you know, was the phrase that I um, captured. And he spoke so eloquently about the importance of building these arches and turning these mills. Um, uh, Kiron was followed by, um, by Derek. And it's hard to, it, Derek had so many gems and so many nuggets of, of, um, of, of wisdom from his years. And uh, of, of working in, uh, with the NIHR and in the NHS. But I have to say, the phrase that I picked <laughs> was, I think, his very final one, you know, to teach us about something in our own backyard. But I think the misunderstood heron is actually a beautiful image of, of um, PPI in a way. Um, and I'm looking forward to checking it out. So it's, a, it's, a, it's out in the killery for those of you <laughs> who, who weren't here. Um, uh, and it's, it's worth checking out. Uh, Emma Doris uh, spoke. I thought um, really honestly about her own experience of, of PPI in, in, the in the world of basic science. She helped um, Derek deliver uh, a workshop yesterday to our colleagues across the road in the biosciences building. Um, the, the phrase that caught my attention in, in Emma's contribution was describing the laboratory work that she does and then saying, this is not my research. This is my methodology. And I, I thought that was very powerful. And she highlighted something that, that we, are, we have learned, I have learned, is that this isn't about public involvement. It's about good quality research. That's what it's about. And, and really, if we're, if we're serious about it, it's not involving public and patients isn't the end game. It's the means to the end. Um, and so um, we were then, th th then it's very difficult, impossible maybe to to, to summarize um, Helen Rochford's work. By the way, I found out that the Health Research Board is not the only HRB in, in Ireland. <laughs> There's a stronger HRB even. So Helen um, talked just so eloquently and beautifully about um, the, the importance um, of, of she, diversity is being invited to the party, inclusion is being uh, invited to dance. Uh, was the image that, that she and then then in our second session we had these wonderful examples of of uh, involvement engagement of public and patients participating and 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 sharing on the, on the journey uh, before I, I thought I was living I wasn't now I'm fighting to live was what um, Lani described very very beautifully um, Paul's description of his beautiful daughter Sophia and the journey that took him uh, into uh, public and patient involvement through the Neptune project. And then, of course, our own stars of, uh, of D1 now and the altruism, you know, recognizing that they, they, the contribution they're making is something that will be realized by the next uh, generation of young adults coming through the 18 to 25. And then I'm not even going to attempt to describe the um, workshops, mainly because I wasn't at them. I was only at one. Um, uh, but that one, if it is possible to look back at it, it was a very rich discussion with, with again, with Derek, um, you know, with Carolyn, so two different backgrounds and, and kind of, come, you know, different parts of the world. But importantly, Dennis as well as a, as a public involvement participant, just not critiquing, that's not the right word, commenting on genuine attempts to do PPI well. It was a really worthwhile discussion, and I think... Hopefully, uh, there will be learning from it. And I, I think, um, you know, my takeaway message, I suppose, from the whole day is that it is a journey and we are all learning. You know, Carolyn has been at it for many years and, um, you know, I think is still learning. Certainly, chatting to her last evening over dinner, that was the impression I got. And, you know, 
it's, it's, it's wonderful to have this um, gathering here in Galway. I know other PPI Ignite centres have similar gatherings and we, we should you know, try to support them all. Um, our PPI Ignite catalysts that, that we are also launching today, Una Mead, uh, Martin O'Halloran, Michelle Queeley and Ruth McMenamin will hopefully help us in NUI Galway to, to spread the, the message of, of the importance of public and patient involvement. But the final word, I, I think, um, and of course, I'll preface this by saying I am a Corkman domiciled in this part of the world, but, but um, the other HRB, uh, Helen um, uh, mentioned that, um, and I'll leave you with this, you know, that the West's awake. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I have, some, I have some thank you, sorry. A, a sign of a good, um, <laughs> sign of a good organizing committee is that um, the person who sums up is actually um, told who to thank. Uh, uh, the risk, of course, with thanking people is that you forget, but um, all of our speakers, uh, especially uh, members of the public and patients, many of whom travelled, uh, I think in particular, uh, Carolyn and Derek, you know, travelled the furthest and probably have the richest, uh, you know, experience and, and being, um, you know, kind enough to share that with us. So, not just today, but yesterday for Derek in a workshop and, and tomorrow for Carolyn. So, I think Bula Boss. Um, So the, the chairs of the sessions and the workshop facilitators, um, this has been a joint effort between ourselves and PPI Ignite at NUI Galway and the Primary Care Clinical Trials Network. So Andrew, Lisa, Nikita uh, and Adele uh, for chairing the sessions, but also uh, very much uh, in the background, but the key organisers, Breda uh, and Martha, you know, for, for doing all the stuff that you never really recognise is done until it isn't done. Um, um, the HRB for encouraging PPI, you know, and, and bringing us all together for the fourth time here in Galway, but also this wonderful network of PPI Ignite centres that is, I think, energising itself uh, and hopefully will continue to do so. Um, everybody who attended, particularly those who travelled, Wexford seemed to figure prominently, the South East was well represented, um, and thank you for making the journey. I go to Kilkenny with the, my, one of my roles, and there's no easy way to go from... Galway to Kilkenny. So I presume Galway to Wexford is not easy either, um, but safe home. Um, and then just, uh, you know, our, our, our volunteers out front of house, um, uh, Angus, uh, photographer, um, the Galway Primary Care PPI Ignite group who have contributed to uh, the day. Um, I think ILS, this wonderful building, Pat Dolan and company. Um, and finally, just your feedback forms. We hope to continue this, uh, this journey. We hope to be hosting another national PPI uh, conference. I don't think I've forgotten anybody terribly important. Okay. Um, and, and safe home.